Hey, so in today's video, we are going to be looking at a couple of different plays from Virginia. Now, these are great plays to run. One is a simple elevator play, and then one is a continuation on it. The continuation play on this elevator play is going to be a nice elevator, quick pass, dribble to the corner, and then a staggered screen or a single screen, depending on the team, for a three-point shot. Let's get down, let's break these down. Okay, so first what we're going to have is a center as well as a forward on the right side. You could run this on the left as well, it's totally fine. And then we're going to decide which one of these two players are going to use that screen. Now, usually you would pick the inside player, but you could actually set as well a screen on the far away player so that now it's a screen plus an elevator, an elevator is when you've got a double set of players who come in and essentially do what some coaches may call a sandwich screen now from there what we would have is this player in this case is going to be the close player he's going to be going through the elevator screen and now this is what you would call a wing elevator screen you could do a corner which is over here a wing as well as a point and then from there after that sandwich screen or elevator screen is what we would normally call it you would see a three-point shot but if this player is able to fight through when this player is able to receive or is receiving that ball what you would want to see is this player going down to the corner which is going to be that second play that we are going to be breaking down so in this first play a quick three but now what we're going to have instead is going to be the elevator screen out and that's totally fine but that defensive player is able to fight through that screen this offensive player now is unable to take that three and when this happens there's a couple of different decisions as what you can make so we could have this player cut down towards the basket and maybe open for a layup after this player dribbles out towards the corner now if that's the case that could work but I prefer myself having these two elevator screen players to set a staggered screen away for the player at the point who initially has that ball instead what we have here is just a single screen away but at least he's able to get himself open for that three-point shot you could start this in a box as well but personally I find it more successful if you start with both players on that elbow we have our elevator screeners here now from here what we can have is either player two setting that screen down for player three and player three using the elevator screen if that's the case then you're all set but that's not what Virginia's play is Virginia's play is just a simple player two popping out hopefully that screening player gets stuck on that elevator screen quick pass over to player two for that three-point shot now this is a very very good play but what happens if player two is able to fight through and still defend player two blue well what we can have now is for player two to dribble down towards this corner and we can have a staggered screen set for player one now personally what I like to see is player three at this point battling out just in case the rebound comes because any shot that comes from the right side has a higher or a high probability of coming onto this side for a rebound so if player one uses that staggered screen what we would like to see is for player one to take that shot but what I also like to see as well is if player one's man is unable to keep up and through those screens, yes, a three is great, but if player one fights through those screens, what I would personally like to see is for player five to set a second screen on player one, player three to set a back screen on player four. Now, when player one uses that screen, player four is going to be cutting down towards the basket player one could take the shot or pass to player four for that layup 
Now I hope that these plays from Virginia are able to help your team win more games. Of course, really quickly, make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book down in the description below. It's helped a ton of teams win more games. Basically, it's a double team from the free throw line and below, so make sure to go check that out. But also, I hope that you enjoy these secondary plays or different options that I gave you for this exact same play. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. If you have hit that like button subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time